What is up guys, it is Nick. We are back on Black Desert. I think I got the whole audio desync issue all figured out. So, we are back. I went ahead and transferred over my gear from my Sorceress, so there it all is. You can see we've gone over that. I need to get a better kunai, but there's like none up on the auction, so it's kind of like... Oh look, there's finally some up. Oh my gosh. Uh, I could get a plus 14. I mean, they're not crazily better than what I'm using, but obviously we need to get something better. Most of them have to do with defense. Like this one is... Like, that's not bad. 4 million, 8 to 10 attack up, 18 defense. How much better is that than mine? It'd be 5 to 7 better attack and 15 better defense. That's pretty good. Um... Probably have to get a plus 10. Eh. I'm just going to buy this one down. Yeah, because that doesn't have any... We're just going to buy this one right here. The 4.5 million one. And be happy with it. It'll work for now. And then maybe we can get a better one in the future. So buy that up. Okay. So when we get back to town, I'll grab that. But I picked up all the optional kind of side stuff here. And so we're just going to be slaughtering some of these guys for a little bit of time here. Uh, I don't deal as much damage as I would have liked, but that's all right. So our main quest right now is we need to kill uh, 30 enemies here. There's one for 25. That's the main one, but we don't need to complete that one. All right, bro. S stop it. Oh my gosh, he keeps stunning chill brother okay i just want to kill this guy i put too much damage into him we're killing him now i don't care get behind him hit him with those back attacks oh my gosh would you just die i know oh he did die finally thank you There's so many enemies here. This is a great place that I never really farm. That uh, I wish I did a little bit more. It's a really good place. It's got high mob density. And this attack actually destroys with the high mob densities. Uh, I do have an increased XP on, so we are going to fight here for a little bit. But this is somewhere, the Abandoned Mines, it's a good place because it gives you... I forget which Asula piece drops here. One of the Asula pieces drops here. And that's really nice. Okay, so there are all the quests done. We have some other ones that I need to complete that I took. So we're not quite done farming these guys. I'm not even going to look at the specifics that I need on the map. I'm just going to kill. And when we complete them, we complete them. But these guys cluster up enough that I think, like, if these guys will follow me over here. Come on. Come on, guys. Follow me over here. You can build up a big enough chunk of enemies. Yeah, look at that. So many enemies built up there. Get behind them. Yeah, this is really nice. You can get behind them and just absolutely wreck house. I really need to start farming in some of these areas more than I do. Because, like, which, which Asula set drops here? Um, I don't think it's not going to tell me there. I have to have a piece of Asula's, I think, and then it'll tell me. And I highly... Oh, I got... Look at that! I got super lucky and I got an Asula's Crimson Eye Ring. What, what kind of clutch luck is that? Look at that. Um, Abandoned Iron Mine is the, is the neck, er, oh my gosh, I can't think. The, the Abandoned Iron Mine is the necklace, Helm's Post is the ring and earrings, and Belt is Elric Shrine. Definitely should probably try to farm those areas. I can probably give my Zareth armor back to my main character, back to my Sork, because I have this right now. That is, that is interesting interesting because i've never really farmed this before 
Can't believe I got that. A soul's crimson eye ring. I think you get it as a quest reward. You don't get it from just like. I didn't get it from farming this, but I was clutch that I had it. Also clutch because I lost my Azula's Crimson Eye Ring on my Sorceress trying to make it try. I had a duo Azula's Crimson Eye Ring, and then I tried to make it pry, or try, and we all know that sadness ensued, because that's what happened. So literally, I just have to get a bunch of characters to this point, and I think I get a free Azula's Crimson Eye Ring. I could just do that a bunch of times. I obtained a question mark item. Come here, buddy. I still need to kill one, sh or I need to get one sheriff's iron mace. I need to destroy one more wagon. And there's probably more. I accepted like six quests. Hello, everybody. Why don't you follow me over here? There's my last cart, so let's destroy the cart. Attract everybody and their mother, and let's dance. Ooh, I don't even know how I did that attack, but that was cool. That's what we gotta do in the next episode. Is I will... Okay, I'm stunned. Can we not... I will um, go over skills again, because we should be level... We'll be level 53 or 54 in the next episode, and so I'll go over it then. Back up. Clear out some of these enemies. Like, that's just so good. You can cluster these guys up. It's just... I can't complain. It's really nice. Really nice, really easy. And there's so many of them. Look at this. Like, hold on. We're at 47.16. How much XP are we going to have when we slaughter all these guys? Oh, I got a... Oh my gosh, I got an Asula's Crimson Eye Necklace. Let's go. I just had to make a new character. And then I got lucky. Because my main character, literally, I cannot get Asula's set to drop. It's ridiculous. Okay, so Sheriff's down. Yeah, it was like 2% for slaughtering those guys. And this Asula's Crimson Eye Necklace? Holy, oh my gosh, that thing is good. I did not know how, oh my gosh, we gotta farm this. This is gonna be this episode. I have to farm this. That is so good. I can sell this piece of garbage, I guess, 14 mil. Uh, and I just use this. Oh my gosh, I, I did not know that the Asula's Crimson Eye Necklace was this good. So I definitely got to get a second one, or more, so that I can do... I mean, the main goal is obviously probably to gear one to, I don't know, to try? I don't know, I don't, I haven't been trying to do anything fast, pry, or try, oh my gosh, I keep missing up, pry and try. I can't, I haven't tried anything past try because... I just don't exactly see the point because, well, I see the point, but I don't see the point at my current stage because that just destroy. if I destroy the item, I'm just kind of screwed because I don't have, I don't have millions of resources right now, is what I'm saying. I am, I am a little resource challenged. If I had like 20 million, or not 20, if I had like 2 billion gold, I would have no problem trying to level stuff up to insane levels, but I don't. I'm a poor boy. Hey, buddy. I don't even have the stuff unlocked to know what, like, how much damage I'm doing to these guys. I did farm this once on my sword. But I only farmed it for like five minutes before the group I was with. We went to. Did we go to Sonal's? It doesn't matter where we went, but yeah, I only farmed this for a couple of seconds on my main. I don't think. I mean, going down is fine, but I actually don't think going down to the bottom is the best. I think the circle at the top is the best. Let me go back up there. Um, or let's just go back this way. There is one other person here. 
I kind of want to go turn my quest back in, but oh my gosh, look at all the enemies. Hey, buddies. I guess we're fighting you again. Come over here. Hello, everybody. Alright, here we go. <laughs> I attracted, like, the world. It's just, it's an absolute, it's an absolute slaughter fest. Oh, look, we learned about the red orc cards. Oh, and now I'm stunned. Alright, slaughter them out. Heal. Actually took a fair amount of damage there. That was the first time we actually took, like, a decent chunk of damage. Alright, Karuto Executioner. Time to die, buddy. I need to go... I want to go turn these quests in. I know I was going to wait and not turn them in, but... I want to go turn them in in case there's... We can just keep redoing some of them. But we're going to make our way back there slowly. We're not going to do this too quick. What are you doing, buddy? Hey. No, you. What are you doing? Come over here. Are you guys going to come hurry up? <laughs> they were like chilling over there just waiting, looking at me. That, I didn't aim. Oh, good. I, it let me re-aim it. Okay, hello, next mob group. Come over here. And the slaughter fest begins again. These actually don't give me terrible experience right now. I mean, it could, it'll be obviously worse every time I level up, but this actually isn't bad. With chances of that Asula's Crimson Eye Necklace, it's not bad at all. Because that necklace is legit really good. I didn't know that the necklace was that good. But that's pretty crazily good. And I had no idea. Okay, so complete all of these with this dude. Oh my gosh. Look at that. Um, okay. Oh, I already completed that. Okay. Did I... Okay, so here we go. We're at a crossroad. We can either do Until We Meet Again. The first storyline opens up the Until We Meet Again quest and delves into events that lead to the downfall of Kingdom of Medea and the siding with the Shroud Knights to pursue Elezra. Crossroad for Altanova. The second quest line starts with Crossroad for Altanova, which tells the story of Narudashen and his merchant guild. Trying to rebuild Medea after three days of darkness. You'll side with them and work together to solve problems and help revive. Okay, we're choosing this one because I don't think I've played this one yet. And, well, maybe it is. I always wanted to side with Sarma, so... Hmm. Maybe that's the one I did before? I don't remember. I thought I did the one with Naruto Shen. But maybe I'm wrong. But time to keep on... Keep on farming. We'll probably... Oh, look. How convenient. These guys respawned right when I was walking past. Okay. Everybody come over here. I'll destroy the cart while I wait for you guys. All right. Slaughterhouse time. It's just like... It's just a kill house over here. There's so many enemies. It's so nice. I like it. I love this so much. Really nice. I don't want to do the kunai throws. Stop doing that. And I have enough defense. I can just power my way through these guys without really a care in the world. It's hard to tell once <clears throat> enough bodies are stacked there how many are actually enemies. Okay, so then we come back over here and we attract these idiots. And we go over here. This is definitely the best place that I've farmed that I didn't actually know was this good. Which is kind of disappointing. I wish I would have known about this this whole time. But this is fun. This is probably the most fun farming area because there's just so many mobs. You're actually, you actually feel like you're accomplishing something, I guess. It feels like you're actually killing something. Now we got plus five. Plus six. We did not actually get, like, a bunch of trash. Um... How many of these? I need a thousand of them. Might actually get a thousand, if we're being honest. By the, by the time I'm done farming this. I don't know how much I'm going to farm this. 
We're definitely going to finish out this video farming it. And then I know tonight I'll be able to actually play. I know We're picking up pretty closely to where the last ninja episode left off. But, yeah, I just didn't have time before right now to really play. I got us to this point so that we were a little bit farther ahead. But not, not a crap ton. Not probably as far as I would have liked. All right, everybody, get over here. All right, kill house. Oh, it's just so nice. It's just such a nice farm. Slaughter these guys. And I think this is as far as I'm going to go. I think after I slaughter this group, we run all the way back up to the top, and stuff should respawn about right on time. I'll time it this time. I mean, I did spend a little bit of time inventory managing, but we should be roughly about the normal time for respawns. So we'll find out. So run back up here. Run over here. Hello, buddies. Alright, let's go to the far group, and then we'll work our way back. Alright, let's start it. So when the rest of the guys get here, we aren't just bombarded with 500 people. But we started this video at like 32% or something like that. We're already up to 72. This is a great place for this point of leveling. Hello, everybody. Let's clump up. I know there's not as many of you now because I distracted some, but... You're still worth killing for that sweet, sweet experience. Got a Zareth helmet. We'll check real quick. Just because I like to look. I don't actually... S this it? Yeah. Okay, so nothing. Alright, and yeah, looks like these guys over here have a respawned. Hello, everybody. Okay, when I start slaughtering these guys, should attract the other guys across the way. Okay, AI what are their AIs doing? They're just standing there. Hey, idiots. Can we <laughs> get over stop standing still and actually move towards me? So this could, so this attack can absolutely wipe you guys. Ooh, do it get take it a little more damage than normal. Action is restricted, real why? Okay, those guys are dead. Now I just gotta slaughter these guys. Slaughter you. Did we get anything good out of that? Oh, no, we got two forbidden books. Okay, not bad. I'll take all that. Alright. It's so weird. Why are there so many of these Sonal, little Sonal guards here? Just hanging out on the cliff edge. It's like break time on the cliff edge. Alright. Get out of that. So nice. Those guys die. The Sonal guards here, they die really easy to my, uh, to that slash there. That, like, reminds me of just a anime weeby slash. Okay, let me through. There we go. Kill some of these guys while the other ones are coming. We're almost to 80% to the next level, to 53. Okay, so next one down here. Yeah, this is a this is pretty good rotation, I think. We'll find out for real this time if this rotation works, because then I'll know. If everything is respawned, I haven't been in my menu a lot. About average for what I'm going to be in my menu for. And that's when we'll really find out. Ooh, a steel dagger. Slaughter these guys. Yeah, I could go down here. It's just not a very big pack. I mean, it's it's 
probably big enough to kill him while I'm right here. But it's not a hugely big mob down here. And there's this tougher enemy, but he's not too bad. Yeah, probably worth pushing down there the rest of the way to get the kill. Why are you just chilling here? Kill these three guys on my way back, I guess, if they don't aggro. Yeah, it looks like everything is respawned up here. They have a really quick refresh rate, it appears. Like, look at this. Everything is back up here. Yeah, that, I think that's definitely, definitely the wave. Definitely the wave. Just farm this little, like, triangle. There's some backtracking. It's not a circle, but I don't think it's too bad. And then when you get back, we'll see how much a rotation does at level 52, because I had 83%. I remember. Because I look. So we're almost at 85% already. And I mean, this isn't even that much time spent. I mean, I can't even sit here and act like we've spent a bunch of time. Hey, buddy, you gonna turn around? Okay, so clean these guys up. Get behind them. Get that nice back damage. A little bit of luck. A little bit of lag, but we good. We good. Okay, hurry up. Hurry up, pets. Pick all this up. Oh, hello. Where did where did you two come from? Where did you come What? This guy just came out of the freaking woodwork. Like a Teamster clown car behind this crate. Okay. So now let's come back over here. I gotta remember, I can't attract those guys until I hit someone over here. They start coming as soon as I start slaughtering these guys. Yeah, we're definitely gonna get to 53 in this episode. That's no... That's definitely not even remotely a question. We're getting to 53 in this episode. Callus Blade, nice. Might have to check and see... I want to see... I want to get... I haven't been getting many good items farming anymore. A couple of times I was getting, like, plus 15s that were actually worse than some stuff. But that's been, like, I don't know, a while. Not on this character, on my Sork, but... Okay, so let's kill you, and now let's keep going. See, we're already... We're, like, 91. These guys give me, like, 2.5%, which is perfect. I might actually off-camera farm almost all the way to 54, so then we can start the next episode at 54. Because I enjoy this this area right here, so I have no, no issue farming it. And probably will for like an hour tonight. Which might actually be... Eh, it, would pro it would probably be exactly the amount of time that I would want to spend, because... Um, if I want to be short of hitting 54 so that we can do that on video, not that it's a big deal, but it's worked out well to name these videos titled the level of the character. It's so, like, obviously this video will be titled 53, because that's what we're going to end the video at, is 53. Alright, you guys get up. Alright, let's jump over you, and here we go. Go. Okay, it looks like I get about 11% a rotation through this. Well, no, because these guys aren't all dead yet. Yeah, okay, that changed dramatically in just a matter of seconds because I hadn't killed all those guys yet. And we're not even done yet with the rotation. Hello, buddy. You need to die. Okay, good. You're dead, so you can stop buffing. Yeah, I don't want to go down there. That's... It gets a little thin. I think it creates a circle, so you might be able to do a better, like, circle route. But it's not very good for, you know, budgeting my time. Okay, yeah, definitely more than 11%. Uh, so we got a, lot, a little bit under 15%. It was about 14%. So that's not bad at all. Um, I'd assume when I hit th at 53... It'll probably go down to like 6 or 7% a rotation, but a rotation doesn't take that long, so I'm not really concerned about that. Okay, so let's get over here. 
And this is the best spot right here. You just absolutely just destroy people at the beginning here. There's two really good spots that I like in this. I guess there, eh, there's more than two, because there's like four main cluster fights. There's this one. We're just going to do the top part here, and then I'll call it an episode. Okay, so let's go. This one's not as good. I don't like how I have to sit in this corner. Okay, so we got to 53, which is good. Okay, so let's. This is my. This is probably the best one because you grab those enemies and you bring them over here, and then it's just kind of an endless train. But I can see here off of one battle here. I got to see if it's even worth it. Eh, yeah, we still get a decent amount of XP. It's not like an insane amount anymore, but it's still percentage points for each fight, each one of these. So. Probably, I, my estimate was probably right, 7 to, 7 to, probably 7 or 8%. Maybe a little bit less. But I'd love to get one more Asula's Crimson Eye Necklace. Now, I know that's probably not overly likely in one level if I farm here, but I'd like to give it a try. Okay, I'm going to kill you. And all right, that's going to do it uh, for this episode. I will advance the story and do some more farming um, coming up on my own. And then we'll start the next episode. We'll be close to 54 is my hope. Uh, might not be tomorrow. You know what? For the kicks, let's, let's open this up. Uh, where's the box? Okay, let's pop this. So it may not be tomorrow. Tomorrow may be a Sork video, but we'll see. I got trash out of this. Oh, yeah, the Crone Stone is definitely the big trash out of that. But, um, yeah, might not be tomorrow's video, but uh, it'll be the next Ninja video. I'll hopefully have it up tomorrow, but if not, it'll be a Sork video. And you guys can catch the Level 54 video on Friday. So, hope you all enjoyed, and I'll catch you guys later. Peace!